Hey folks, welcome back to the shop. I don't know if you can hear it outside. Let me show you. Another blustery day in beautiful Alberta. The spring has been crappy. If you can hear it just blowing away. The rain has let up a bit, but just miserable. But uh, out in the shop again. Sorry, I'm just freehanding this. Out in the shop again, doing some work on the beetle. Uh, a few weeks ago, I got these seats from a friend. They're out of a, I think an early 90s Toyota, is it Tercel? They're in nice shape. A lot of dirt on there is from me handling, but they'll clean up quite well. Driver's seat barely has any wear on it. Passenger seat's uh, even better. So I figured, heck, for the price, maybe I can uh, cram them in the Beetle. So that's what I've been working on. Well, it's not all I've been working on. I got that patched in. Now I'm going to fix all that welding up with the MIG welder, clean it all up. But I just decided to take a break. So I've been working on the seat install. And this is what I came up with. Original seat brackets. Those are for an earlier model. You can see under all the hoses and that. But uh, cut them out on this side. End up tearing a few welds. but. It's all going to be covered in carpet anyhow. But this is what I came up with. I made a couple plates. These all take 8mm bolts. Just Hopefully they're strong enough. Just like the body and everything. So you need the same wrench for everything. You can see on this one. Well the bolt nuts on the back side. And what I did was I cut a flange. I guess on the nut with my uh, little lathe. Drilled a hole. And that way the nut would kind of fit part way into the hole. And then on the back side, it's not the best, but I'm getting better. I TIG welded it. So this side, the nuts on the front side, but the same treatment on the back. This here's a seat belt hole. Um, so yeah, it's going to be nice and strong. I put these extra welds just in case. The reason the nuts on this side and on the back side here is just to get the seat lined up fairly straight on the tunnel. And on this side. I had some two inch, is that, I don't know if that's, uh, oops, you're not in frame, sorry, quarter inch thick, three sixteenths, something like that, uh, two inch angle, and I uh, made some brackets, I've got to clean up the welds down here a bit too, but uh, I made some brackets to mount the other side of the seat, same with this one, I had to uh, cut it back so I could get the nut through give it clearance and then I made a little gusset here as well same thing with all the welds I'll clean them all up but you know it'll all be covered in carpet mostly anyway so she's nice and uh, sturdy this one I was thinking I might need a gusset to here because I'm worried about it tearing the uh, heater channel but we'll see how it uh, holds up I'll keep an eye on it and then on the seat I cut the old tracks off uh, let's see here and I just drilled the holes and welded, kind of crappily welded. It's hard to get in there with the welder, but it's more to keep it from spinning. Welded bolt there. Another bolt on the back side, and that's the outside edge. And then on this side, it just has holes in it. And I got all the covers for this as well. So let's bolt them in, and you can see the result, and we'll see if that outside cover even fits on it. I'm just going to get you on the tripod while I bolt these in. Alright, I set you up in the back. Hopefully that's a decent view. Uh, you'll see my ugly mug, but oh well. Okay, let's get this sucker bolted in. I'll just fast forward you while I do this. It's just Four bolt, two bolts and two nuts to hold her in. I'll have to get some lock nuts and everything for the back sides of these, but this is just a temporary uh, install to show you guys. So I have had them in already. Or it, I should say. There's only one done so far.
All right, she's in. I can kind of see the bolts stick down. I may have to trim those down a bit. Doesn't look too terrible, I don't think. Like I say, once it's covered up with the uh, carpet, it'll be all right. And one other thing I was thinking too is, uh, let's see, can you see how much uh, room is under that seat? Lots of uh, room for storage or, oh, maybe an eight inch subwoofer box. That would be the thing to do. I'd say they look all right. They don't sit too high, too high up. I had the door on already and it clears. One thing I'm worried about is the tilt. I may have to figure out a little space or tilt it up a little bit for my liking, but uh, uh, back up here, you can see the lever on here. Now all the bolts are tight. She slides not too bad. So I may have, might not be too bad for a room in the back. I wouldn't want to put anybody too big. That little hole, where's my finger pointing? Uh, there it is, right there, there's a bar that goes across and from there back is where the back seat is. But now the seats are all the way forward. <sighs> seats all the way forward and I still fit. And if I move the seat all the way back. Heck, high tower from uh, Police Academy could fit in this car the way I got it set up. I'm surprised at the amount of leg room. So it's gonna work out good. So now it's gotta do that other side. It's kind of nice to be able to sit in here. Sorry about this light's extra bright. Sit in this thing. It kind of gives me a sense of that I'm actually uh, getting somewhere with it. So we'll get this other seat in and then uh, figure out what the next step is. So. Uh, Sorry about saying so all the time, but till next time, take care and talk to you later. I ended off too early. I forgot there was one other thing I was going to try yet. Side cover for the seat. This is the driver's seat. Uh, get a screwdriver. There's one screw here. And I think that's it for, and then there's just a few, oh, there was a clip right here that may or may not be missing. But let's go get that screw out, and we'll see if it fits and covers up most of that uh, stuff. I'm going to get you back on the tripod here, make it easier to do this quickly. Okay, that's better. Let's see if the sucker fits. Sure hope so. Yeah, I'm just looking so that I can't tell if you're in the little hook here that hooks on the back side, just out of the frame there. See if I have to trim any of this. I'm not gonna get that hook on. Okay. Well, maybe I will. Where's the hole? There it is. Oh yeah. Look at that. Get these all painted up, and you'll barely know they're there. I'm very happy with that. So. And all I got for cost into this is the cost of the welding. I didn't have to buy any metal or anything. The seats were given to me, so thank you very much, Don. Um, yeah. Once again, until next time, take care and talk to you later.